What is the number of cans that can be packed into a certain carton? Statement number one tells us the volume of the carton is 2304. 2304 cubic centimeters. But this tells us no information about the cans. So because we have no info about the cans, we have no way to decide how many cans can go into that volume. So this statement is completely insufficient by itself. Now we have to be very careful. Forget about statement number one. Focus only on statement number two. Statement number two tells us about the size of a can. A can is six inches high and it has a diameter of four inches. And so that gives us the idea of a can, but now we have no information about the carton. And because we have no information about the carton, we have no idea how many cans would fit in the carton. So again, perfectly insufficient. Really, it's pretty easy to determine that both statements individually are insufficient, and the meat of this problem is figuring out what happens when we combine them. So now we know the size of the cans and the volume of the carton. So 2304. Notice that if you add up the digits, they add up to 9. Because the, the digits add up to 9, it means the number must be divisible by 9. When we do a little division, we find it is 9 times 256. 256, as you may know, is 16 squared. So this is 9 times 16 times 16. That gives us a rough idea of what factors are in the number. So we could make a carton, for example, that was 3 by 3 by 256. It would be a long, skinny carton, and absolutely no cans would fit into this carton. This would hold zero cans. Clearly, we could make another carton. We could make a 16 by 16 by 9 carton, just using the three factors we have. And clearly, some cans would fit in here, so the cans, the number of cans would be greater than zero. We don't even have to figure out how many. Just the fact that we could build some cartons consistent with this information that would hold zero cans and some that would hold more than zero cans, it means that we do not have sufficient information to determine exactly how many cans are in the carton. So even combined, the information is insufficient, and the answer to the question is E.